I'm Judith Monroe and this is my studio and in this video I'm gonna show you how to turn a box um, into a camera so exciting so the first thing we want to do is collect our supplies um, and the first thing is a great big box um, I guess this is sponsored by Blick. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they should pay me for this. Anyway, a big box um, will work best, big. Um, one or two pieces of white paper, a pencil or a pen, something you can poke with into cardboard, scissors or um, an exacto, or this is a, a box cutter, and some tape um, that will block out light. Um, you could use, this is electrical tape. You could use um, duct tape. I'm sure there's other kinds of dark light blocking tape. So those are the things that you're going to want to do. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do with this light blocking tape is uh, make one end of the box light tight. Uh, so when I look inside my box here, you can see it is not light tight. I can see the corners and uh, the center let in a lot of light and that's gonna mess me up. So I'm gonna use tape to block that out. When I look in my box, no light leaks. Haha. -ha. So the next step is to put white paper in that far um, side. I mean, though, I could honestly put white paper here. Um, that might actually, or oh no, white paper here. You'll see why. It's just going to make it easier. So this is going to be my viewing. Um, so I'm going to put white paper right there. And um, I'm going to tape it in. I guess I could use this type. Or I could use some scotch tape. So I'm going to tape that in there. and Because uh, it's going to be easier to poke holes. I have to poke holes on the opposite side. And uh, I'm choosing this side because it'll be easier to put holes over here. All right, I grabbed some tape. This does not have to be fancy at all. I just want to make sure it doesn't move around and that it fills up um, most of the space. I'm putting it all over to one side because I'm planning, I'm going to put my pinhole on that side, and uh, by the time this is done, you'll understand. Okay, I'm going to put it on the corners. I just don't want my paper to fall, and that nice white surface is going to make it so much easier for me to see my image. The next step is putting holes on the opposite side. So um, I want to make sure that my holes are far enough apart that um, I don't block my view. So I'm going to kind of like, I'm going to look through one hole and I'm going to have the pinhole on the other side. And so how I'm going to figure this out is I'm just going to get a ruler because it's easier. But you don't have to. So um, this is my midway. This is 12 inches, very convenient. And uh, so this is half. And if I do this, like if I make this in kind of in the center here, kind of figure this out. Oh, there's a piece of tape in the center. So right about here is where I want to put my pinhole, my viewing hole. 
and then I'm going to put, or my pinhole, not my viewing hole, my lens. And then on this side, I'm going to put my viewing hole, and I don't want that to be too big. I just like to sketch things out. It just makes my life easier. So let's see if this pencil is sharp enough. Totally. Ooh, you know what? That, um, there was a piece of clear tape there, and I think it helped make that a nice sharp hole. So that's kind of what we want. A tiny, sharp hole. Here we want a bigger hole to look through. Um, if you don't have something like this, you could use scissors. I just feel like this is going to make my life easier. Oops. That was a little bigger than I meant for it to be. Tape can be my friend. So this is going to be my viewing hole. All right. I think that's okay. I don't think that's too messy. All right, so now I'm going to close this up and seal this. I feel like my my electrical tape won't be as strong to hold it. This is not particularly dark tape when I hold this up to the corner of, um, when I held that tape up to the light. But I'm gonna use this to, for my initial kind of sealing portion. And then I'm gonna put, um, based on what the other end looked like, I'm gonna put my electrical tape just on the edges here and in this center where I know that there's more likely to be a gap. Now, if you have big, heavy duct tape, you, you know, dark duct tape, I'd probably just tape all of this up with that. And now for the moment of truth. So I have a bright window behind me. I've opened my blinds. I've made sure that um, I'm not using the part of the window that has the screen, just to try to make everything as bright and clear as possible. I'm going to look through this hole and um, let the light come through this hole. So I'm gonna stand here like this and I'm gonna look through. I'm also gonna kind of shield my eye and it takes a minute and it's kind of dim, but I can definitely see, I can definitely see the image of my window out there. I'm gonna put my camera up to this hole and let you see it. It can be a little bit tricky to see it, but you have to kind of get everything lined up just right. And turn. That little bright light in there is the actual pinhole and you have to kind of wait to see. One of the things that's happened when I look through this, I can see this little tiny bright point of light over here. And when I play with my finger to cover it up, I discover that there's a spot over here I need to tape up better. It took a couple tries, but I finally uh, was able to tape up my light leak. And so now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Now 
you can take a photo inside your camera obscura with your own phone and just use your phone lens to come really up close and line it up just right. So that's how you make a camera obscura out of a cardboard box. I um, so look forward to seeing what your photos look like. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all those things to help me build my channel. Thanks.